The majority of channels in the body graph, as you can see, even those above, you can see it there, you know, are projected. So it makes up for the projector type. You may ask now, why are there only 20% of projectors if there are so many projected channels? Because you see, 70% of people who have these projected channels defined, they will also have the sacral defined. And the moment the sacral is defined, you know, that locks the whole consciousness into the doing, doing, doing. The generator and the manifester both are energy types. Projectors and the reflector that we'll glance at after, they are non-energy types. That means that even when they use the energy that's available for them, it's never about how much energy. It's never about how much power the energy has. It's about the awareness that guides the energy. It's the specialization on the use of energy in certain ways, you know? You don't need the power of the sacral to, you know, build or destroy. This is about creating systems. This is about creating systems or using awareness, you know, to how to guide the very energy of life, to use it to our benefit. I mean, this is humankind, how to take advantage of nature, how to take advantage of humanity, how to take advantage of 70% of human beings who are full of energy and are asking themselves all the time, what shall I do? I don't know what to do. Well, let's give them a job, you know? Let's have them work for us. See, everybody that is not a generator, and I'm not a generator, is a kind of parasite. But hey, look at nature. You know, parasites have their job. You know? As a matter of fact, they do the kind of jobs that generators don't want to do. Sort of boring jobs, really. There isn't much to do once you're not a generator, you know what I mean? So, projectors. Projectors. They're always pulled into the generator field. See, they're always fixed on others. They have a focus and absorbing aura, not repelling like the manifester. Not repelling. You know, remember, it's not the independent guy. This is the most dependent of types because they do not generate or manifest on their own. So for them, it's always about the other. They're always focused on the other. Their question is, who are you? So that they don't look at the other, the strategic parasite way. You know, what can I get out of you? Where do you have your juicy blood? You know? Because I want some. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. I need it, and I'm going to get it because projectors know how to find that soft spot that we all have, where we lose our minds. Energy types, you know, are hot. We lose our minds quick. Projectors, once they find that out, you listen to their minds or else they click that button that they know. <laughs> See, you can know others to take advantage of them. You can know others just for the pleasure of it. Do you know what I mean? You can know others because with them, you simply get to experience the best of you. Do you know what I mean? Because when you meet the nice in others, normally it's because the nice of you is there. So, where are you coming from? Do you know what I mean? What do you know about yourself? Who do you think the others are? See, projectors will only do that, by the way, when they don't have projector consciousness, when they think of themselves as an energy type. You know, that this is what, we, what I can do. If I do this, if I do like that. Rather than seeing that they're not here for doing, they're here for just watching. Watch others do and watch the results. You know, watch others put everything at stake and watch the results. 
Watch others put nothing at stake and watch the results. And realize what it really means to be human. You know? That the problems are not on the outside. That the problems are in the way we see. The problems are in our deep unawareness about who's looking. Do you know what I mean? We live in a quantum universe where everything you look at, you know, you influence. Do you know what I mean? Somebody else looks at that and they see something else. And as a, as a reflection of that, they get something else. They trigger something else. It's chemistry. Life is chemistry. We do not control it. Every breath we take changes our chemistry. The moment we die, we stop breathing. That, too, changes our chemistry. It's a river of chemistry. It's, you know, we're just inside the package. Projectors are here to know the truth beyond, beyond myths. Beyond myths. They're here to complete the jobs that manifestors started. The person who brought this into the world was a, is, was a manifestor. I am a manifestor, and I won one of his first collaborators. It's projectors, you know. He barely scratched the surface, and he left all the formulas there. It's not like anything is missing. Like, you know, I made an introduction of the surface for you today. It's not like anything's missing, but there is so much more. It's not just what you can see now. It's where this can take our consciousness about what it means to be human, what it really means to be human, the moment you get all your pre-assumptions out of the way. And when you realize both its limitation and the glory, the glory, the magnificence of being a passenger of this form and moving through this world and getting to see this greatest show, you know, that's going on. The good, the bad, the this, the that. All mixed in the cooking pot. <laughs>